Hey, what's happening guys? Guess what time it is? It's Timu time. That's right. I ordered more stuff from Timu. I ordered, let's see how many things. One, two, three, four, five, six things for $10. Did I do good? Did I do bad? We'll see. First up, cable organizers. I go through a lot of these. And they were a pretty good deal. At $1.61 for 50 cable organizers. Next up, we have uh, this, and <clears throat> excuse me, this is a DC 3 to 24 volt, 95 decibel buzzer alarm. All right, let's take this out and uh, see if it works. It's small, about, about an inch, 25 millimeters or so. So this is at 5 volts. That's pretty loud. Try it at 9 volts. About the same. Ooh, that's, that's really loud. Holy cow. That's annoying. $1.98. I love it. What's next? Ah, uh, USB Type C cable. This was uh, $1.99. I hate these fake Ziploc bags that never want to open. So we just slice them open. That, that's pretty thick. So the question is, is it just a charging cable? Or is it an actual data cable? I hope it's an actual data cable. Here is an Arduino Nano with a USB-C adapter, or jack, I guess you'd say. And if I plug this into the computer over here, we should hear the computer give it the happy hello do donk There it is. So it's about what three feet long, I think. Yeah, so let's see what what size it says. Yeah, three three point three feet, one hundred centimeters. Not bad for a dollar ninety nine. Then we got a package of small one n four one four eight switching diodes. <laughs> the address of this company is 901 Block B, Colorful Science and Technology Innovation Park. Cool. So I got a hundred of these. They are 0.2 amp, 100 volt, high speed, axial high temperature uh, diodes. Buck 98. Now this guy is a little dual MOSFET driver. And it was, how much? This was 89 cents. All right, so we got VN plus, VN minus, and we have our out plus, out minus, ground. Then we have a trigger uh, slash PWM pin. 
Let's see if I can figure out what type of MOSFETs those are. They're really, really small. Can we read that? There you go. D4184. So these uh, AOD4184A are 40 volt N channel MOSFETs. VDS 40 volts. Um, ID is 50 amp. Wow, 50 amp. RDS on is less than 7 milliohms. At 10 volts, RDS on at 4.5 volts is uh, 9.5 Less than 9.5 milliohms. So. so basically, what you can do is switch a very high current using a very low current. So you hook whatever you want to switch on and off over here. You have your incoming power come in over here, and then you just trigger it with a pin there. So we'll take a look at this in a further video. And the last thing I got which is in that bag right there is a 4.2 volt electric vehicle battery tester buck 78 oops so this should uh show the status of a single cell lipo battery you gonna focus come on There we go. So we got a little unmarked 8-pin chip, which is probably a microprocessor. Voltage regulator, diode. Something unpopulated there, but since it's going across that rail, it's probably a capacitor. And just a couple of connections there. Let's see if we can hook it up and uh, make something work. All right, so I soldered on a couple of breadboard type header pins there. And this is your selection down the side here for however many cells you're using, up to eight cells. I'm using one cell. So we'll put this here in the breadboard. And there is a 18650 LiPo, and here's our switch. This will allow me to energize this. Okay, let me get this with one more light. There. That's looking pretty good. So it is showing me three bars on a single cell. And according to the documentation, one cell, three bars, it's reading 3.7 volts. So it will go down um, 3.9 will read four bars, 3.7 is three, 3.5 is two, and three point three is one and uh, you don't want to go any lower than that so even though this says it's for electric cars it's going to work with anything that you're using uh, you know 3.74 volt lithium polymer lithium ion lithium iron batteries for pretty cool for buck 78 so there you go to recap everything we got today the uh, USB A to USB C cable for $1.99 the extremely loud and annoying buzzer for $1.98. $1.98 on the 1N4148 uh, switching diodes. $1.78 for the LiPo battery level thing. $1.61 for a hundred cable organizers. And $0.89 cents for a 50 amp dual MOSFET driver. I think that is just cool as can be. All for 10 bucks. Well, 10 and change. I was like, uh, what was the total? 10.96 was the total. I don't think you can beat that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.